Welcome to the convent of Santa Maria, here in the beautiful city of Milan. Thursday night, Lighthouse Community Baptist Church in Pocatuck staged a living version of Da Vinci's painting of the Last Supper. If you look deeply enough, you may even hear them speak. Listen. He picked me to be one of the twelve. Each of the disciples tells a story that's based on scriptures about each of the disciples interactions with the Lord and so we're, we're, we're just trying to bring those elements to life. I would pierce his heart with this knife I hold in my hand. I think Jesus was the master storyteller. Most of the Bible is story and one of the beauty about these stories is they are different than say the Pauline epistles which give you commands do this, do this, don't do this. Then Jesus called to us and we immediately Left the, boat. the stories in the Bible capture people wrestling through how to obey God's command. How could it be? And so I think drama most effectively captures that. And our culture loves stories. There's something that seeing a personal story, I mean, it's the same when somebody stands up and they tell a personal story of their own. It means so much more than maybe just the same story coming from the pastor about someone else. So actually putting yourself in the place of, of one of the characters in the passion story, I feel like that really connects with people. The knowledge that one of us will betray him. It makes it more relatable. You have words that we would use like in conversation like right now. Now the master says there's a spiritual Roman amongst us. I think that's what was the coolest part was that we took lines from something that was very historic and we made it into something that people could connect to. Da Vinci painting that in that moment, it's supposed to be taking place right at that moment where Christ has said, I tell you, one of you will betray me. So you see 12 different reactions. So to take that piece of art then and say, I think this guy's thinking this. I think this guy might be thinking this. And they're all thinking, is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? A second performance, free and open to the public, is scheduled for Friday night at 7 p.m.